Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 34 at chapter 5. And from this one, we look at the central motion, right? And then we can see we have a car on this flat road. It, it wants to make a turn. Ask you the coefficient of the friction between the tire and, and the road. So oh, ask you the speed. So this one, you can see, for this car, we must have the gravity normal force and the friction. I take care about this one. This friction must be static friction because the car couldn't move, right? The car couldn't slide, so there is a static friction. And this friction is just the mu s times the normal force. And then you can see because there is a friction, so that means the force is not balanced. So this force just makes the car start to make a turn, right? Do the move, moving circle. So this this force is the central force. Do you agree? And this central force is just the mass times the central acceleration. So we can write it in these equations. So this friction equals to the central force. So the central force is mass times the v square divided by r. And then this uh, Friction is just a mu s times the normal force, and normal force equal to gravity, so mu s mg. In this way, you can find this velocity just equal to the square mu s times rg, and then we get it as 23 meter per second. So you can see uh, in these equations, there is no quantity as mass. So this uh, uh, velocity is independent of car's mass. Thank you.